15 pick of the of the year the most outstanding prospect in the country he's got everything callum smith he's got a vast amateur pedigree background he's from the Thunder abc in liverpool you know a highly decorated amateur club he's got everything he you know he, he really has he's a solid project and joe gallagher's brought him on fantastically he's in great shape and he's going in here with a guy who's a former world title challenger in only his eighth fight so it's a it's a huge step up it's one that everybody believes callum is ready to take an hour delay to the start of our coverage don't worry we'll get straight to the action time to find out what liverpool's callum smith is really made of eight fights eight wins the last six opponents haven't seen the end of the first round can he make it seven on the spin the matching harder will that make a difference argentina's former wbo title challenger ruben acosta the opposition stopped only twice in 40 fights and that was at world class. Commentary Andy Clark and Glenn McCrory after our MC, John McDonald. Ladies and gentlemen, a very warm welcome to the Motor Point Arena here in Sheffield. Eddie Hearn's Matchroom Sport proudly presents 10 rounds of boxing for the vacant WBC International Super Middleweight Championship. Sponsored by 888 Casino, Scots Menswear, and the Grosvenor Sheffield. And we are live on Sky Sports, Wealth TV in the US on AWE. Ladies and gentlemen, a wealth of entertainment. All the officials have been appointed by the WBC and the British Boxing Board of Control here present with us at ringside. Our supervisor is Mr. Mario Betty. Our timekeeper from Halifax is Mr. Colin Roberts. And our three scoring judges, Michael Alexander of England, Christoph Fernandez of France, and Howard Foster of England. And when the action begins, the referee in charge from Gillingham, Kent, England, is Mr. Ian John Lewis. So here we go then, 10 rounds of boxing. Introducing to you firstly, fighting out of the red corner, wearing the red trunks trim with white weighing in at 11 stone, 13 pounds, 11 ounces. A 40 fight record, 27 wins, 10 inside the scheduled distance. Eight losses, five draws. Ladies and gentlemen, he comes to the ring as the former world title challenger. He is the reigning South American super middleweight champion from Mar del Plata, Argentina. Would you please welcome Ruben Acosta. Out across the ring, fighting out of the blue corner, wearing the black trunks, trimmed with the yellow, weighed in at 11 stone, 13 pounds and 10 ounces. He is undefeated. Six inside the scheduled distance. He is the reigning English super middleweight champion. Ladies and gentlemen, one of the amazing Smith brothers. You're about to meet Liverpool's Callum Mondo Smith. So let's get the action underway then. Ten rounds of boxing for the vacant WBC International Super Middleweight. Championship. Oh, and the referee, I spoke to you both in the dressing room. Obey my command at all times. You both have the rules. Watch the heads, kick them punches up. And when I shout break, you break clean. And remember, to defend yourself at all times. Shake hands. Well, the latest chapter in the Callum Smith story. A story that many people think will lead him to world honours. The last six chapters have been short and sweet. Six first round stoppages to his name, winning the English title and his last outing against Patrick Mendy. Mendy was expected really to give him a test, but Smith again just blew him away. We've been very impressed by what we've seen so far, Glenn. Yes, we have, and I think they've looked for somebody a bit tougher come up with Ruben Acosta he's 35 but he's got a good record he's known to be durable and this is quite a jump for a young man he's only had eight fights before Callum Smith so he is making giant strides 
You look at the height difference between the two in there, and that's one thing that strikes you immediately. Smith just prowling forward. He's finished so well in those six first round stoppages, mixing his punches up. He's made everything look very, very easy so far. Maybe what he needs is a bit of a test. Well, across the gets a couple of big punches off. They're blocked nicely by Smith. Got that height, got that reach. So he can use that long left hand from distance. Costa trying to fire in that left hand. Again, apologies for the late start to the boxing. Roger Federer has been setting his own agenda for years, and he did it again tonight. But plenty of great action. It's boxing all the way now. Adam Etches, Brian Rose, Anthony Joshua, Kelbrook, all coming up later on at what will be a packed arena in Sheffield. Smith looking to work to the body with the right hand. Well, already Acosta looks a bit jittery and nervous in there. He's now trying to get a few punches on in close. He's got to try and rough Smith up a little bit, put him out of his stride. Well, the WBC remarked to Eddie Hearn how impressed they were with Callum Smith when they saw him boxing Glasgow, now boxing under the auspices of that governing body for the first time. If he can get the job done here, it'll take him up the rankings. And really, they didn't have all that much choice other than to go down this road. His brother Paul holds a super middleweight British title. They won't fight each other. Rocky Fielding's a Commonwealth champion, fellow matchroom fighter. That wasn't what they wanted to make. And the defence of the English title was rather pointless, given his recent form. Still, he's quite cautious, Smith. He's got his hands held nice and high. Just feeling out of that jab. He doesn't rush anything, although he's got six one-round knockouts. He takes his time. Costa with those hands, at times a little bit low. To the final few seconds of the first round. Body shot there from Smith right at the end of that opening session, one where he just had a good look to see what exactly he's up against tonight. Let's have a quick listen. That should give me something to do. Right, okay then. Listen, all he's doing is walking, all right? Just don't shoot the right hook. The right hook's only when you put the two jabs here. Then he'll pull off. You've got to make him move. Once he moves in, you put the right hook in. You're trying to land the right hook, and he's in the statutory position. He's seeing it coming and just coming underneath you, all right? Levels of the jab. When he's coming off, put these round the side. What does he feel like up close? It's a bit rough, like hard Yeah, yeah, stand, nothing heavy-handed or nothing. No. Well, sometimes then when he's standing there trading, just sit in the pocket with him. Yeah, and on his last count, he'll catch and return with yeah. two and three as he's pulling out yeah. tall. Yeah. Keep it tight, let him come on the sides and boom, 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 catch him on the way out, all right? But don't let him mug you off by nicking rounds with your jabs and that, all right? Just shuffle your feet in a little bit more, all right? Okay. Plenty of advice from Joe Gallagher, as always. His brother Paul in the corner, his other two brothers, Liam and Stephen, down there as well. Scott Quigg, Gallagher's gym out in force. And he hears the bell at the start of the second round for the first time in a long time. Costa still struggling with his boots. He did have them taped in that minute between rounds. Tapes on the soles to try and improve his grip, but doesn't seem to have helped much. Well, that's all he needs, a bad grip when he's in with somebody like Smith. Again, he takes his time, uses that jab, just gets him in range before he'll unload. Threw himself off balance there, Acosta with a rather wild right hand. He's just been walked down by Smith all the time. He's going to use that significant height advantage. Very, very tall for a super middleweight. Feels he could even get down to middleweight. He's going to stay where he is, though. Costa has mixed it at world level. Title challenges against Robert Stieglitz and Carolee Valshai. Both defeats. Well, it's not often we're seeing Callum Smith having to tuck up and take a few punches, but he caught them all on the arms, good defence, didn't panic. These are all boxes that you want to tick as a young fighter goes along. Mixing up the punches here, going to body and to head, and Acosta anxious to try and hold on and get himself out of trouble. 
uses those long levers to such good effect, Smith. Caught him with a straightish left and then immediately went down. Again, slipping as he throws himself off balance. It's the transfer of weight which is causing him the problem, not just his boots. Clubs in a big right hand. Again, the hands are up. He's cool when he has to be under a bit of pressure. Again, looking to really load up on that left to the body. Seen a couple of those recently. Carl Frampton stopping Jeremy Parody with a really sweet one last week. Acosta trying to throw back. Well, he's doing exactly as Joe Gallagher asked him to do. He's just sitting there, just staying, covering up, just waiting for a gap to present itself. I think a short left to the body there might have hurt Acosta a little there. Right hand drawing applause from his brother Paul. Acosta leaves himself pretty open at times. And Acosta looks at the referee. He's not happy in there. What does he do against somebody so tall and that's not going to work? A wild swing. And Callum Smith really warming to his task here. You're right, look to the body. Boom, bring it up, and left and side there. Yeah, 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 yeah. Come from left to right and well, right. Well, welcome to back left. to Sheffield. This action from the second round. Callum Smith up against Ruben Acosta. Well, it's all been relatively easy so far in Callum Smith's career. But he's having to think a little bit here. Into the third we go. Smith taking the distance in his first two fights. Those were scheduled for four three-minute rounds against Dan Blackwell and James Tucker. Further problems with his boots for Acosta between rounds. He had tape applied to them at the end of the first, has now had that removed. The advice coming from the corner from Joe Gallagher was just to wait, really, for Acosta to leave himself open, which he does do. Good long right hand. He's only been stopped twice, Acosta, by Anthony Mundine and Robert Stieglitz. So Smith could get him out of there. That really would make some kind of a statement. It's impressive to, to see his concentration, you know, how he stays patient, waits for it, doesn't, doesn't gamble. You know, he's, he's up close there, but he's keeping his composure, he's not panicking. Smith, one of the many, many fighters in Liverpool in the paid ranks. One of their amateurs, Anthony Fowler, has just picked up a bronze in the World Amateur Championships. At middleweight. There's a lot of support, Smith. Wayne Rooney tweeting last night that people should tune in and make sure they catch Calamundo Smith. Again, being patient in this round, tripling up on the jab. Take a left hook to the body. There was no problem there, though. And he's straight back on the attack, prodding with that long jab, which is a great weapon. Nice right hand, but Costa rode it well enough. great deal of movement from Acosta. No, he's just, a, he's awkward, Acosta. It's difficult to really flow against him. Smith always in centre ring. As Acosta just tries to circle around him and try and find some space. Smith always looking to, to try and close that gap. Gauge distance, flicking out that left hand and then following it in. Costa tries to roll the, the shoulder defensively, he has to take two to the body. He says, do it again, and Smith obliges. Well, good strong finish to the third from Callum Smith.
across, step across, make him come onto your left hook. Yeah. All right. Now welcome back to Good Sheffield. Work. Three rounds into this WBC right. International yeah. Super Middleweight long, contest long, between long, Callum Smith, who we're looking at right now, and Ruben Acosta. Smith in his ninth professional fight, eight fights, eight wins so far, just 14 rounds boxed in those eight contests, mainly due to the fact that his last six fights have all lasted less than a round. This is a different kind of encounter, it's a different kind of opponent. He's very experienced, Ruben Acosta, he's tough as well. And as Joe Gallagher was saying in the corner there, Glenn, he's trying to bore Smith to death and then launch some dawn raids, was how he put it. Yeah, well, Smith's got to be a little bit wary of the, the counters when he decides to, to attack. Not very often, but most of the time he looks prepared for that. Another thing they were saying as well was not to tense up with that right hand too much, not to look for it as a finisher too often. He has been loading up with it a little bit. It's very easy to get tense when, when you're not landing with your punches, when somebody's managing to move out of the way or just turn their body or hold. That's Then you start to get tense, you start trying a bit too hard, and that's just what they've got to be wary of. Costa with a good solid looking left hand there, caught mostly on the arms and gloves by Smith. Smith's got the, the basics really down. He's got that jab, he's got that defense. There's so much to build on. I don't see too much of an uppercut from him from time to time, Glenn. That's one punch that maybe you haven't seen from him. It's a fairly minor quibble, really, but given the height and the leverage he's got with those arms, it could really do some damage. Right on cue. I think he's just very, very thoughtful. You know, he just analyzes the situation. He's looking, you know, he knows when to let that punch go, when the opening's there, and when he's not going to get hit back. John Lewis is jumping in. A very straightforward fight for him to officiate so far. Smith again just pouring out that left hand, trying to judge the distance. Costa's difficult to nail down. As all of his opponents throughout his career have found, as we said, only stopped twice. Well, that's why he's only ever been stopped twice in. And there's 40 fights, he can look after himself. He's a bit negative at times, but this is a, a style, you know. Remember, Callum Smith, this is only his ninth fight, you know, he's a boxing baby. So he he's, needs this. He's been four rounds twice before tonight. Tonight he will go further than that. Ruben Acosta taking advantage of every second's rest he can get in there, and making sure. They get the air to him to try and just cool him down a little bit. It's warming up inside this arena in Sheffield, which will be packed to the rafters later on. He'll come back, but you've got to come again. Yeah, he was slumped very heavily on that stool, wasn't he? His arms wrapped around the ropes. Into the fifth round, and he'll have been past this point plenty of times in the gym, but professionally, it's the first time he's heard a bell for the start of round five for Callum Smith. It's been... A pro big performance so far. It's a good right hand at the start of the fifth. Yeah, that was much better. I think it's probably time that Smith needs to start just picking it up a little bit, let that jab go out a bit more, start putting some combinations in. He needs, needs to make it uncomfortable in there for Acosta. So far, he can just get through these little attacks got to turn up the heat the arena filling up all the time big big night of boxing on sky Adam Etches, Brian Rose Anthony Joshua in his second professional outing and Kel Brook up later on on Sky Sports 1 left hand 
end from Acosta. Didn't have a great deal of power behind it. But he's always throwing back. Smith always has to be quite careful. Make sure he gets that guard up high and tuck those elbows in. There's a slight, an only slight bit of blood coming from Callum Smith's nose as he went back to the corner at the end of the last round. Still just taking his time. And at this pace, Acosta can get through this. So he needs a little bit more. Costa let go with a left hand there, which just sailed past the forehead of Smith, who tries to pen him back in the corner. This is better. This is what he needs to do. Just keep, keep him pinned there. Some bravado from Acosta. Ushering Smith in, encouraging to throw more punches, and then rather clumsily just barreling him across the ring into the opposite corner. He wound that big hand up, didn't he? Came from the floor. Good right hand there from Smith, and a second one as well. And again, the showmanship from Acosta he takes every opportunity he can to try and tell Smith that he's not hurt. Maybe as we go down the stretch, we might see less of that. But as we do go down the stretch, Glenn, at what point will Callum Smith begin to maybe think about keeping something in the tank for the final rounds? Well, he's never had to do a great deal of work just to, to win these rounds. He's only starting to throw more punches now. Midway stage, Callum Smith in control. On the side on it, then shoot it down again. Don't right me. hand, left up, left up, right hand. All right. Well, just before the start of the sixth round between Callum Smith and Ruben Acosta, some of Smith's work from the previous round. Yeah, nice combination. As he had Acosta on the ropes, is where he's been for most of this this fight. Well, slight issues in both corners there between rounds. Smith complaining of a slight soreness to his left hand. Acosta looked a bit tired as he took his stool. They were massaging his calves, trying to get a little bit of spring back into the step. Winging away with rights and lefts. That's where Smith as he moves on and gets more experience. He learned to block and then let a punch go of his own. Goes to the body and that body shot's really, really hurt him down on his knees right in front of us in the corner. Here, John Lewis counting out. I don't think he's gonna make it. He's got back to his feet just about on the count of A. The referee has a good look at him and decides to continue, but my word, that was close. And great courage from Acosta there as well to get up from that. And Smith now is looking to finish. A look of apprehension on Acosta's face as he's caught in the corner. Yeah. Just under two minutes still remaining, and he's nailed him with a left hand again to the body, writhing around in the corner there, Acosta. And the corner is coming in. They've seen enough. Their man has had enough. And Callum Smith has won again. It took him a little bit longer this time to break the opponent down, but Acosta, a very, very durable man, only stopped twice in his career prior to tonight, and that was both in fights of world class. He had to be patient, he had to have a good look, he had to work the fight out, he did all of those things. Acosta still being attended to there. You could see the grimace of real pain when he was put down with the first one, Glenn, and the second looks even worse. Well, he's still on the floor and he's in some trouble. He's getting up now. So there were very, very good punches. And it's good to see so many people up on their feet, excited at this. You know, I think that, I think he's he's switching on to, a lot of people are switching on to Callum Smith. I think they feel there's something a bit special about this young man. Well, the variety of punches at times and what seals it for him. Well, he gets so much momentum on these body shots. Really gets a lot of power into his punch. 
he's thinking all the time sees the gap and there's a left hook to the body and a left uppercut landed in that short a space of time so accurate he's thinking he's thinking sees the gap there left hook and i think that's enough well people in sport often talk about an old head on young shoulders it is a very very valid point to make in the case of callum smith he's taken to professional boxing really like a duck to water and now let's go to our mc john mcdonald Ladies and gentlemen, timekeeper Colin Roberts has recorded a time of one minute and 20 seconds of the sixth round. Referee Mr. Ian John Lewis has stopped the contest. Acosto in no position to continue, therefore your winner. And a new WBC International Super Middleweight Champion from Liverpool, Callum Mondo Smith. He looks like the real deal, doesn't he, Callum Smith? Liverpool man with his seventh successive knockout victory. And really, really one to watch. Here's one to watch as well. The big man is in the house. Six foot six inches tall. One fight, one knockout win. You can see how he fares in his second professional fight. Live on Sky Sports 1 a little bit later on. Anthony Joshua. Olympic gold medalist ready to do business on Sky Sports 1 a little bit later on. Callum Smith, impressive, very impressive. Tony Bellew, how good is he? I say I said it from the start, he's a fantastic, fantastic prospect. And tonight he's gone in there and shown, you know, somebody who's who's been about the game a long time, how a real world 45, he's only been stopped twice, so... It's an outstanding thing what Callum's done, I mean, what, what impresses me the most is, for someone so young and so inexperienced, he showed a lot of composure, very skillful, and picked the shots perfectly. The, the finishing shot was, was, was outstanding, it really was. Can I say from him now, talking to Ed Robinson. <laughs> well, Callum, <laughs> on paper, that was a massive step up in class, but you found your range, talk us through those finishing punches. Um, I think, as Joe said, a lot of people, you know, if they watch me now, they're sort of expecting the body shot, so you know, the plan was to go up and then down first, and you know, I think the finishing shot for the first knockdown was left up a cut and then round the side, but you know, he was a good opponent, and I think I learned you know, a lot more in that fight than I have in you know, my previous eight. As much as I enjoyed the early knockouts, you know, you can't beat that, and you know, he was a good, experienced kid, he was slippery, and you know, he caught me a few times and I was being sloppy, so you know, I'm happy I learned a lot, and you know, I think on paper it's a very good win. What did you learn in there? Um, just, you've got to be switched on at all times. You know, no disrespect to Jamie, but when you box them most of the time, 90% of the time you're doing as you please, whereas when you step up, no, you've got to be switched on all the time and one shot can change a fight. And you know, I got tagged a few times there and you, know, you never know at a different time because we're in bigger shots. So you know, there's still stuff to learn on with Joe. And but as I say, I haven't been pro a year yet. People keep forgetting that and keep thinking not have been pro a long time, but I'm still learning. Was the key tonight to stay patient, not get frustrated, because Costa was going backwards and suddenly charging forwards. He was an awkward target, wasn't he? Yeah, we knew that from watching him. Very slippery when he goes to the ropes, he rolls one way, rolls the other, and then you know comes back with sneaky white counters. So I had to be aware of them. But you know you can watch as much as you want. But it's different when you get in there. So it took me a few rounds to adjust. But you know I finally started getting my shots off as the fight went on, and you know got, finally got the stoppage. Trainer Joe Gallagher, how happy are you with that performance tonight and your man's progress? I think it's a fantastic performance. I think it was just the right fine at the right time. I think it was fantastic matchmaking. Eddie suggested the opponent and uh, got to say for once he got it right tonight. But like you say, it was fantastic. Callum now, what's that? Nine fights in 11 months, two titles. It reminds me an awful lot of, is it Matt Corber of the, the super middleweight top rank at the time, turned pro. He was banging everyone out at the time. But you can't beat that experience tonight from Callum. I'm really pleased for him and the sky is the limit for him. He's got to be a huge... 2014 for him and I'd like to thank Eddie Hearn and Sky for getting behind him. It's got to be a great journey. Well done the whole team. Tony, it is an exciting journey ahead for him, isn't it? Oh, it's big. It's massive. I mean, you see all the brothers there, the four of them. They're all champions. They're all different in their own way. 
and like I say, it, it, it's fantastic. It's Callum's night tonight, and he's really shone brightly, he really has. Like I say, to perform that way, for such a, a prospect to do that was, was outstanding for me. He doesn't waste a shot, does he? Everything, everything is meaningful, everything is...